G'day guys, Carla from Up Travel. You're probably wondering what I'm doing sitting in the dark. Get out in the country, a little stretch of road, nice and flat, goes for a couple hundred metres. Um, well, it goes for quite a while. And I just wanted to show you my new steady light that I put on. So I put on a steady ST1K light. So I'll show you the light. So this is my favourite stretch of road to test lights out on. That is patrol on daytime running lights. That's low beam. That's high beam that's adding in the new ST1K light bar and just for some perspective that's adding in the Hypex Pro Spotlights Got the better of me, so the gap, I was going to blank it off but light bar, light bar's going in it but not just any light bar, steady light bar so got my hands on a ST1K this is a little bit different this too um, so instead of having the lights point straight forward, they shine upwards and a different style of reflector in it. So I'm hoping this will be good. The idea is, is the way the light shines is it's supposed to throw the light forward, but not light up the first sort of couple of metres in front of the car or 50 odd metres or whatever it works out to be in the front of the car. So the idea is that this will shine down the road, but as you get close to the signs, instead of having that glare shine straight back in your face, it should avoid that. For me though, the main reason is just to fill this gap. We'll get it mounted up and we'll have a look at it. Now, so the good thing with the steady light bars is it comes with a wiring harness. I do also have a um, vehicle specific switch for it. Box for hardware, got end brackets and also got slide brackets. Um, I'm going to be using the end brackets because the bull bar, the off-road animal bar, already has slots in it. So it is a 21 and a half inch light bar. I will get the measurements of it, but it is super slim. Um, obviously it's got the protective coating over the light at the start but if you can see that it's got the LED diode down the bottom there and then the reflector sort of comes up and curves and um, yeah so the idea is that light shoots up hits a reflector and comes forward the other thing that is a bit cool and a bit different is instead of the traditional bolted face the lens must be uh, glued in so yeah very slim very sleek um, I think it's going to be a good thing so I've started to become accustomed to these wiring harnesses, so I think they're a good thing. Everything you need, plug and play, really simple installation as well. And of course I've got the headlight adapter that I put in for the Type-X lights as well. Really no different to last time. So all the steady lights are really easy to install, come with wiring harnesses, plenty of vehicle specific headlight adapters as well. So they also come with two headlight adapters for like a common size bulb. So it makes it really easy. I won't go too much in depth with the wiring, but easiest way, just place it where it needs to go, lay it out, start running the wires where, you, where they need to go, and then that'll paint the picture of how it all plugs together. Got all the wiring squared away, that's all done. That light bar switch in now. So factory style switch for the big Nissan. Um, fits perfectly, can't ask for anything better than that. As is where it is going in the off-road animal bull bar. So in, the, in this gap here, I was originally thinking about blanking it off, but because it fits a 20 inch light bar perfectly, why not? So there's already some actual slots and everything in here for the light ready. So <laughs> this should be nice and easy to get it in. The only thing that's going to be a pain is I'll take the grill out because as you can see, that's my slot, but because the grill, you don't cut the grill these bars, that grill is actually in the way behind it to get it in. Anyway, we'll get that pulled apart and we'll get her in. Take the grill out on the big girl. Just all these little press studs on top of these two plates, take them out. Um, obviously I've got my compressor switch in there, so I have to unplug that. And then it just clips out. So if you don't have a bull bar, these grills are almost take the bumper off to get them out. So one of the cool things that makes steady light bars easy to mount is generally you've got side mounting and then you've got channel mounting across the back. So it gives you all the options to be able to mount them. For what we're doing with the operator on the bull bar, we're gonna use the side mounting. We're gonna use the L brackets for the side. So now we've just got to pull the protective cover off her. But she's in. I'd be interested to see how it goes with these reflectors. Plug all the clips in now, and uh, we're good to go. Good to go test that. So here's the wiring that I've already run. Is the wiring from the light bar. So I'll plug them two together and zip tie it all up. Harness is plug and play. These things you can mount them anywhere. Especially with the two types of brackets. Definitely keen to see how this goes tonight. All right, time for the grill back in. capture this the reflection back of these signs because that's the idea with these light bars is that the reflection is supposed to be limited um, so 
So what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll hit this in my spotlight so you can see the difference. But that's unreal. Right, so this is the same stretch of road, but this is spotlights only. Uh, this is just to show the glare and the signs. That's actually really good. So yeah, by changing the way the light globes face and the way the reflectors are shaped, so the globe's shining up at the reflectors and going out, it's supposed to throw the light out further from the car, which means when you're up close to signs, they don't glare back at you, which you can see that's what's going on. Four or five hundred meters with a light in it, I suppose. Hi, mate. That's adding in the light bar. So, as you can see, the light pattern in front of the car is a little bit away. Now, you can sort of see my tree down the distance here, big fluffy tree. Spotlights. So, you can definitely see the Type X Pro spotlights add a heap more light, but that's not necessarily a good thing, especially with signage. So that's just with the light bar. Let's go for a drive and see if we've got this light bar adjustment right. That's got it. That's the adjustment of it. Yeah, this one lights. As you can see, shit, like that's a light coming out there. There you have it. That's the steady ST1K light bar. I think it's great. Fills the gap on the bull bar perfectly, looks unreal. The light is awesome, as you'd expect from steady light bars. I can't recommend steady lights enough. Um, of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. What do you think? Let me know, comment it below. If you're interested in the light, I'll drop the link below so you can check them out. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if you're interested in any lights, check out steady, they've got some bloody good gear. Anyway, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, guys, go travel.